Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome to our channel. So in our last video, we talked about how we were getting better after having COVID, but then we turned around and we got sick again. But this time, all nine of us on this property got sick one at a time. We actually had like a makeshift infirmary going in my daughter's living room and we just had everybody on the couches and in the recliners and the rule was whoever was the least sick took care of everybody else and fed the animals. That's how bad it was. There was like none of us left standing to care for the others and it was just awful. It's been a wild month. We did have to reschedule our family Thanksgiving get-together. Thanksgiving was last week, um, and we're going to do that this next week, which is the first full week in December. So <laughs> hopefully that will be okay. But I hope you guys have had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope y'all are well and staying well for the holiday season. Um, we it, It's a new day, so it's a good day. So obviously I have not been doing a lot of filming, but I wanted to share with you something that we did right before we got COVID. And that is we had a family painting day. If you're looking for something fun to do during this really beautiful fall weather, um, think about having a family painting day outside. We had so much fun and we got some really pretty paintings out of it. So take a look. Though I have been struggling to feel better, I did do something that I have been wanting to do for a long time, and that is make clean burning candles. So I got the recipe off Pinterest, and since it was my first time, I just made a small batch of um, six four ounce candles. I just used the ball jars. I will link that recipe below, um, and I did scent it with rosemary and mint essential oils. It was so much easier than I thought it would be, and um, I burned my first one yesterday, and it burned so nicely. I love, I love the feel that candles give an atmosphere, especially during this holiday season. So if you want to try the recipe that I did, I will, like I said, link it below and let me know if you try it. So another thing I tried is homemade cranberry sauce, y'all. I've never made it. It's so easy. I don't know why I've never done this before. But again, I came across the recipe on Pinterest and it's so easy. You just wash fresh whole cranberries and add sugar and boiling water basically and let it sit for two weeks and then it'll be ready in two days. I'll strain it and then I've got cranberry juice for the family. I made uh, six quarts. So these flies are driving me crazy. Anyway, we'll try this in two days. And one more thing that I made that I've not shared with you guys and this will be ready um, in one week is for the first time ever, I made fermented pickles. Now, I think in the last video with you guys, I showed you how I made um, some Creole pickles, some Old Bay seasoning pickles, but these are fermented pickles using salt and water, and you let them sit out for several weeks. And um, if you've watched me before, I actually have tried to make quite a few of fermented 
um, things such as sauerkraut, uh, kimchi. I've made fermented jalapenos with you guys before, um, but this is my first time making homemade pickles and I'll let you know how that turns out as well. So we're gonna take the dogs on a real quick ride down to check on the fire. So let me tell you about the fire. Okay, so one of the things that the guys have been doing outside is cleaning up the property. Uh, there was a mess over by the chicken coop just from building it and only recently got done with that. But they have been cleaning up limbs, trees, just the property in general and gathered all that stuff and took it down by the pond. And yesterday we had a really awesome bonfire. Of course, uh, fires right now with me being congested, just can't be around them. But my pregnant daughter, Chelsea and I sat out on the pier and watched, watched the bonfire. chicken and chickens and quails for freezer meat uh, since we started the homestead so the guys basically all did that I'm too soft-hearted I cannot I can't participate in that but we got a lot of meat and um, it was an experience chicken feed the gizzer the I did it twice. What do you think about it, babe? Kids learn. Yeah, it was a learning experience for everybody because, again, it was our first time. But one thing that I was excited about is um, they saved the chicken feet. And I know this sounds awful and it is kind of hard for me to do, but I'm going to do it. Um, chicken feet, if you don't know, makes the most gelatinous uh, chicken bone broth. Uh, in, which is very nutritious and so I will be using the chicken feed as well as the chicken carcasses uh, once we cook the chickens uh, to make a lot of bone broth. So I will share that with you when I do it. While we're running around, we're gonna check on the chickens. I haven't been out here since I got sick again, so it's been about a week. <laughs> hey guys. Ma no ma'am. Those chickens are bigger than you, and that rooster chased you off. Hey, are y'all coming in here to see me? And here's Quail. Four males. So okay, can... it's all right. It's all right. Oh, Hi, yeah. Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Okay. Aw, <laughs> these are smaller. Yeah, they not too long. <laughs> That's the newest ones. Hi. Oh, look how cute they are. So the rest of the eggs that haven't hatched are in the house, staying nice and toasty in the incubator. And then these are the ones that just hatched but are still too small to go in the little chicken pen. One more thing I wanted to share with you before we go is that um, our good friends Chuck and Rhonda had given us a wood-burning stove 
and we had put it out in our outside living room area underneath our RV cover. A few days ago, it got cool enough to go ahead and light it for the first time. And of course, we had to have marshmallows. So take a look, it was a lot of fun. Not a whole lot in the last few weeks, but did get some pretty cool things done. So wanted to share that with you. Uh, we will see you again next week. You guys, I hope you're looking forward to the Christmas season and all that that entails, except don't let all of the busyness of the season keep you stressed out, okay? It's about relationships and it's about family and it's about making memories and simplicity. Just keep it simple. So live simply, guys. Dream big and do life. We'll see you next week. Bye.